Hey folks, here's what we're going to do. We got a <coughs> BVA hydraulic, uh, hydraulic hand pump, the P350. Uh, we've got the um, hydraulic hose, 3 8 inch NPT. Uh, we've got a uh, gauge adapter right here. We've got the reducer. Uh, we got, I got another reducer here and then we've got the high flow couplers and this is the pump the manual for it uh, it's P350 it's this model and it's very small so as you can see let's let's get a measuring tape here so it's about twelve and a half inches very small <coughs> so basically what we got to do is we've got to get all of our parts These are the couplers that go together. Alright, so <coughs> we've got Teflon tape we're going to use here. We're going to put it on all the threads that we use. And we're also going to have to remove this coupler here. We're going to take that off. We're going to put a reducer on it. And then the coupler is going to go on the reducer. <coughs> and that's basically going to go right there. Alright, so I've got everything taped up. I got the end the 3 8 inch coupler on the end of the hose. Got that taped, it's nice and tight. I got the gauge manifold all built, taped up. And the reason we gotta use this reducer here is because the pump is one quarter inch. So all of BVA's uh, gauge manifolds are 3 8 inch. This is the only pump they have that's a quarter inch. Uh, so this is how you have to set it up with this hose. So everything's taped up. Everything's fairly well tight. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to attach this into the pump. I will have to remove this fill plug here. And fluid will come out if I'm not careful so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video I'm gonna hook this up and then we're gonna show you uh, it hooked up to the press oh yeah also I did go ahead and change the coupler here so we've got a reducer here on the bottom to go to a quarter inch and then we've got the 3 8 inch right there and of course that will go into that like so so I'll be back alright so we got it so we got everything hooked up 
can see get the pressure gauge and we've got the couplers six foot of hose so now that everything's hooked up I did I did bleed it bleed it down here whenever you hook a new hose up you're gonna get some air trapped in there so they've got a couple of different ways to get the air out so we got everything closed up Let's get the plates in view here. You can see, you're just going to pump it. And you can see the plates are closing. And I just got the, uh, the regular flow couplers. I didn't get the high flow couplers. I don't think you need those for this particular application. So, and of course, I like to continue to bleed the air out with a new pump just to make sure nothing gets trapped everything's looking good on this side so let's go ahead and tilt it back up so you guys can see the press here there it is the pump is pretty big I mean if you consider uh, this huge gauge adapter. I mean, it's massive. Um, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to add a little bit of uh, hydraulic fluid to this pump. And I just happen to have some right here. Hydraulic jack oil. And I put some in this little squeeze bottle. If you can find something like this, this will help you dispense it in. So. So that's pretty much it guys. We got the BVA pump. We got the dab press rosin press. All you really need is a couple of crescent wrenches, some good quality thread tape, like this stuff here. You can use the white stuff too, you just uh, it's thinner than the yellow. This yellow's thicker mill. You gotta use more wraps of this, but the important thing is you buy all these BVA parts you get all the threads taped up for every single spot and if there's threads going into the hydraulic system you thread it up the only thing you don't have to thread up is the quick coupler which you just do finger tight so there we got it out as you can see some hydraulic fluid does leak out when you decouple it so you know at some point you're going to actually have to probably add a little bit of hydraulic fluid back into your pump so that's just the way it goes so anyway there you go folks enjoy